Hey everybody, it's AJ from Knife Bible. This video is part of our ongoing series showcasing all the knife makers and brands who participated in the making of our book, Knife Bible, History and Modern Knowledge. In this video, we will be doing an overview on Falkneve and knives. Stay tuned. Falkneven was founded in 1984 by Peter Schwartzberger. He is a Swedish, a renowned Swedish knife maker and author. As stated in their website, it's a true family business. They have been hunters and fishermen for decades and understand from personal experience how a knife should be. The lineup I have displayed here is just a fraction of what they produce. Their blades were originally produced in Sweden, but now they're produced in Japan. Peter is always on the hunt for the best materials for his knives. When he found out about the amazing laminated steels being produced in Japan, he realized these steels were a perfect fit for his knives. In Japan, specialty steels cannot just leave the country without being made into something. A blade, for instance. I don't know if this rule or regulation has changed over the years or not. This is why the Falkneven blades are produced in Japan with the strict specifications of Falkneven. Most of their knives are made of a VG-10, laminated COS, G3, and now LMAX as well. They do offer a Damascus too. Some of their blades do come with a black coating, while others come with a tungsten carbide coating. The tungsten carbide coating is by far the toughest available in the knife industry, by far. The handle material you see on these knives is a thermal run material. They also produce handles in exotic woods and stacked leather as well. Their knives fall into the categories of hunting, survival, and camping knives. All the knives I have displayed do not have a secondary bevel. It's only a primary bevel with a convex grind. All their knives, or at least the ones you see here, are a laminated uh, steel with the exception of the R2, which is L-Max, okay? The outer layer of this laminated steel is a stainless steel. My favorite is the laminated COS, also known as laminated cobalt. That's what COS stands for, cobalt. The steel is perfectly balanced, where it has high toughness, great edge retention, good corrosion resistance, and is easy to field sharpen. I use the same strop that I use on my SE knives, right, to, to maintain my SE knives and my LT right knives. It's the same strop. It has uh, the Bark River Black compound, which equals to about maybe that 3000 grit, roughly. I also use a really good field sharpener, um, no, field, uh, field um, strop with that black compound uh, as well and this was uh, purchased on Etsy uh, from um, Bushcraft Supply. By the way, you should check them out. They make some really good uh, field uh, strops as well as ceramic rods and I also obviously use a DC4, a Falkneven DC4 uh, sharpener as well. Okay and all of these go into my um, my field kit, my knife field kit and I have Bushcraft Supply ceramic rod in here as well. Uh, I also have a um, little bit of oil in a bottle, okay? That's very important as well. And I have some, some beeswax in here too. And I have the Spyderco ceramic sharpener as well in here, okay? So, um, all these knives are fantastic, by the way. They're amazing performers, okay? The knives that you see here is the R2 and LMAX, the uh, F1 and laminated COS, the F1 and laminated VG10, the F1 and laminated VG10. This one obviously has the black coating, this one does not. You see the F1X and laminated COS and has the tungsten carbide coating. This is uh, the F1X and laminated COS and this is the same one. Okay, uh, this one is the S1X and laminated COS. This is the S1 and laminated VG10. This one here is the A1X and laminated COS and the A1 and laminated VG10. Okay, 
All right, so like I said before, these knives are absolutely fantastic performers. They're very easy uh, uh, to sharpen, field sharpen that, that edge, uh, that convex edge is just uh, really, uh, really easy to just uh, grab a, a strop and just strop away. And it, it, you can get it, you know, pretty much razor sharp. Okay, pretty much. Um, they're very easy to maintain. Okay. Now, uh, let's show some B-roll of me using the F1X to carve some notches and make temp pegs. As I mentioned in the video, the style of grind for these knives is a convex grind. Now, some people like to refer to this grind as a 
Saber Vex because it has that Saber style, okay, and it just convexes at the end. That's fine as well, but essentially they're just a convex grind. It's not a full convex because it doesn't start right at the top. It's more of a mid-level convex grind, okay? If you want to find out more about Falkneva knives, you will see that in our book, Knife Bible History Modern Knowledge. Do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram. Stay sharp, stay tuned.